This is the True Spell pronunciation key, and it shows the 40 sounds of USA English. It is divided into 17 vowel sounds and 23 consonant sounds. There actually are more consonants than vowels in text to be about 62% consonants and 38% vowels. And the true spell is indicated by the tilde sign. You see the tildes, and the true spell is unique that way. It uses the tilde sign to show phonetics. So of the 17 vowel sounds, you have the short vowels and you have the long vowels, what we'll call other, and they are influenced vowels. There are five short vowels. Uh, here's the a ah sound, as in fat, and true spelled the same way as trad spelled, traditional spelling. E eh sound, as in men. I eh sound, as in will. U uh sound, as in look. I call that a short vowel, and some. Uh, uh, this is unique because the letter O alone spells so many sounds you just can't use it alone because it's confusing. It, it actually spells the uh sound primarily and then the ah sound. So the double O for looks, known as the short double O uh, in many texts, that, we'll call that the short O sound and the uh sound as in up. The long vowels are made by moving letter E to the uh, as the silent E would do, it would make a, a previous vowel letter long, as in the word make, M-A-K-E, we would move the E over next to the A. Here's the word may, uh, it's a lady's name, may, uh, C, the E sound, I, as in pi, the pi sound, I'm missing a parens there. O as in toe, and U as in blue. And um, then we have two, what I, some other sounds. These are the diphthongs, ow and oi. You can hear that they are two sounds joined together as one vowel. These two sounds, ah as in sob, and aw as in auger, get interchanged quite a bit, where, pe where people may see the word auger and say auger, especially out west and midwest. And the R influenced vowels, the, the letter R following a vowel often changes the vowel a little bit. So this is indicated by uh, making them phonemes in themselves. I uh, have the word air. It's different than at, and it's different than eight air. It's an in-betweener, and it kind of blends into the R. Her and or, this uses the O alone, but with the R. Or is different than aw, or, or, and or, or, or. It's a tweener. <coughs> Going to the consonants, the consonants are a lot more stable than the vowels. And uh, most of the problems with spelling come with the vowels. But the consonants you'll see are pretty stable. The b sound for b, but two words here, but and about. The double b will have a, uh, will indicate that stress has moved from the first syllable to another syllable. The, the vowel following the double consonant is stressed. Ch, chin, achieve, chin, achieve. Notice the double C indicates the achieve, that, that syllable is stressed. Did, addend, dend is stressed. Fun, effect, effect is stressed. Get, again. Again is stressed. Hat, behave. Have is stressed. Jam, inject. 
inject inject is is uh, stressed kit become come is stressed let's allow allow is stressed my amend men is stressed nap <coughs> annul null is stressed pen appear peer is stressed run unreal real is stressed sun insist cyst is stressed ship ensure sure is stressed thin enthused Thuz is stress. Notice that one has actually four letters to spell that consonant because of the stress. The double, the T is doubled. Otherwise, you'd have the two H and the two H's in that case do not indicate stress because that's how you spell that phoneme. We just add an H. You have the 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 unvoiced thin, and you have the voiced that within and uh, the double T there indicates the then is pressed to tone attack notice tone the E is moved over to the O to make it long van avoid when aware yes beyond double Y indicates the stress on the yawn zip resist and you have the famous Z sound that's a new one I spell that way vision and regime the double Z shows the stress there and that's that's a new one that doesn't have any instances of in trad spell that show it. Here you have the S I showing it, and then and the G I for that same sound. There's no consistent spelling of that sound. And the Q and the X are left over from the alphabet. So the Q there are two very prevalent sounds in other languages the Spanish R with one trill that's what we'll use the letter Q for our Q will indicate multi trills <laughs> the French N will indicate by this paren kind of symbol uh, between the vowel and the N as a France it's a nasal N France and uh, letter X will that will stand for the uvular K, the k, k. And if you if you hold it or trill it, k, k, would be spelled X H. Those are two ideas for spelling sounds of other languages. And there you have the true spell pronunciation key for the 40 sounds of USA English and a couple of sounds from other languages that are very prevalent.